Hello everyone, back at the Easy Jeezy Garage and looks like we survived another day of uh, didn't get rain, woke up with dry sidewalks this morning and uh, managed to get the grass harvested yesterday that was a chore but it dried out long enough for me to do that and it uh, didn't seem to rain all night long yeah we did uh, pull the motor back out that was kind of a chore uh, more so than I expected considering there's no apron underneath the back end over here and I didn't have to take the carburetors off all I had to do is remove the air cleaners and uh, what uh, I was pleased to find is that the uh, guy didn't uh, misinform me this is a Kennedy stage one pressure plate which could account for why I'm here in my clutch tube making noise in the tunnel and we'll get to another video for that so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably yank this transmission got to clean up all this glue there's this uh, tar board I don't know if some of you are familiar with it I guess it's just for sound deadening it's uh, it's just what it says tar board and it it goes up here on your firewall and this thing uh, what happens on these older cars after years of sun and abuse and getting wet is uh, it 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 moves this direction it starts coming out I couldn't get my hand in here these little hooks uh, lose their grip and the tar board gets deformed and the fan it's unbelievable how much air goes through that fan and it starts sucking the tar board towards it so I couldn't get my hand down there very well to get the uh, top uh, engines bolt to remove it and uh, so I'm gonna have to clean all this stuff up it's it could sure use it and then I noticed while I was in here this CV boot is torn and everything's a grungy mess so since uh, the mountains are closed till further notice I thought uh, this would be a good time just to do it I want to put some new motor mounts in here these you could see in that last video how easily it was moving around these things are old and soft and I've got these uh, a completely different configuration here it's it's for Volkswagen I don't know it, it's a heavy-duty Volkswagen mount and these things here you can't even you can't even push in with your fingernail so I think that's going to be a big improvement um, as far as that go and I uh, also wanted to give a, a shout out to uh, uh, Street Rotter 100 he's doing a little uh, contest and why don't you go on over there and tell them Easy Jeezy sent you and uh, of course visit everybody that you can in the YouTube Garage Gang and a lot of those fellows put comments uh, below my videos we all kind of watch each other but if you're new to the group you know just go down to that comment section and find somebody that seems like a nice person and and uh, go check out their videos uh, this kind of a general shout out I guess and uh, we'll uh, just uh, expand the family you can you're welcome to join us uh, street water 100 is uh, made a shameless challenge as he puts it I thought that was pretty cool and you know hey why not so uh, check everybody out in the comment section and uh, if you're one of the regular YouTube garage gang hope you're having a great day and uh, you know, once I get this thing painted, I'm I'm probably or cleaned. I'm going to have to paint it, and uh, if I do something unusual, I'm going to blame it on the uh, the YouTube Garage Gang because we got a lot of painters in that group, and uh, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of paint videos. And uh, anyhow, I'm babbling. Uh, I'll check back with you later on today. Well, things are cleaning up nicely, and uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell in here. Look at those missing bolts. That's the CV joint where it goes to the transmission. I remember seeing a couple of bolts laying on the guy's driveway up by the house. 
and uh, I didn't see where they went but now I do and see I think I already showed one on this side had a big tear in it so yeah it's a good thing that we're getting in here and getting after it took some uh, lacquer thinner and uh, that got some more of the another layer down off that does a little bit better on that glue too I might get out the old paint gun here been a long time so hope you're having a good day and wanted to give a <laughs> can't forget this I want to give a shout out to everybody in the garage gang uh, VW Darren uh, if you if you don't know who he is just uh, put that in the search box and check him out uh, Greg Porter those are in my opinion the two guys that got me involved in uh, watching these videos and if you're a type of guy that works in your car and uh, stuff like that there's just so many things to be learned watching all these people as they uh, restore cars and paint cars and do repairs and uh, everybody in the garage gang all the all the regulars are just super people look down in the comment section and and we all watch each other's videos and and go to some of those street rotter 100 is doing a uh, uh, a bunch of videos on he does a lot on uh, car shows I think he's down in California and uh, he does a lot of close-up stuff on cool cars so be sure to check out his channel and uh, let's see uh, uh, I, I just went for the first time to this fellow named 66 Hellride uh, it seems like eventually everybody comes down with with some sort of problem it's just part of living in this life but uh, some people get it a lot worse than others and a lot younger and uh, so uh, check out their videos give them a little support and encouragement and send a few prayers and some white light over their way and and uh, it's just you know we're kind of having a crisis here where I live with the with the flooding and so forth and you, you just it's amazing how you get to taking things for granted thing, make good choices and just be part of the solution not the problem and I know I'm preaching to the choir, but you know sometimes it, it just maybe it's for my benefit that I'm just venting. And thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and uh, create a great day. And we'll see you here real soon. Easy Jeezy out.